Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, how seriously do you take temptation? I mean, what will you do to protect your life from the, the temptation of sin? And, and I know, like, I grew up in church world, and a lot of people pretend like they're not tempted, and they're pretending because temptation is real. I mean, if Jesus was tempted, you and I are definitely tempted. So how seriously do you take that? Here's the words of Jesus in Matthew 18, verses 7 through 9. Woe to the world for temptations to sin. For it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. Now, those are pretty shocking words. So let me just tell you straight up, God does not want you to mutilate your body. Um, you know, there were some early church fathers that did that because of the temptations to sin, and they mutilated themselves, and the church said, whoa, 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 that's not what Jesus meant. Jesus does not want you to mutilate your body. Jesus does want you to take sin and temptation seriously. That's the whole point of this. He goes, this is so serious. By the way, it's not your hand or your foot or your eye that causes you to sin. It's your brain and your heart, and if you rip those out, you're dead. But he, he just is trying to illustrate how seriously he wants us to take sin. He goes, don't lead people astray and, and understand that you need to be on guard against sin. So I just want to encourage you to protect your life from destruction. That's what Jesus is warning us about. If you take sin seriously, you'll protect your life from destruction. So what do you do to protect your life? Well, you read, learn, study, memorize scripture. I mean, the word of truth will set you free. Free from what? From self-destruction, from sin and temptation. The psalmist said, thy word I have hidden my heart that I might not sin against thee. He says, look, the way I can protect my heart is scripture. The word of God that protects my heart. So if you want to protect your life from destruction, read, learn, study, memorize the Word of God. And then secondly, some of you need to upgrade your friends. Okay? You, your friends are leading you astray. They're the ones who are calling you into temptation. They're the ones providing temptation. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 said, Don't be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. You know, I like the way Proverbs put it. Solomon said, The one who walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of idiots suffers harm. You decide. If you need to upgrade your friend group, then do that. Uh, some of you need to embrace accountability. Actually, I think all of us need to embrace accountability. This is the confessional part that says, hey, you know what? I do struggle with temptation, and so I need some uh, accountability in my life to help me overcome that. And, and, and maybe you need to go to Celebrate Recovery, Monday night, 630 Sweetwater Campus. Maybe you need to join a life group or a men's group. Maybe you need to install, you know, accountability software on your phones or your tablets or your computer or your gaming system. Maybe you need to put internet filters on your home to protect yourself and your kids. Maybe you just need to refuse to travel alone. You see, I don't know where the temptation attacks you, but I do know this. If we take sin seriously, if we safeguard our life, we will be blessed by that because we'll be avoiding self-destruction. We'll be avoiding the temptation of the world, and we're not going to have to cut off a limb to get there. We'll just have to take Jesus at his word. So if you do that, God will help you overcome temptation when you take sin seriously. Hey, I hope that helps your life, and I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.